Tani Pigenia Makofi, the MP for uh, the Mweshimiwa Oboka Milemba, Pigenia Makofi, and uh, the one and the only engineer in Parliament, the Honorable Oscar Sudi, the MP for Kapsaret. <laughs> Your Excellency, I'm very happy to accompany you here to this winner's concert. And we want to thank you for always creating time to sample the best in our creative space. Your Excellency, the performances that have been exhibited here this morning, from where I sit as somebody who has been in the creative arts space for a long time, were wow, very high standard. And uh, I really sympathize with the girls who had a piece here complaining about behind the adjudicator's desk. It was a great piece, but there's nothing we can do. The adjudicators are the IBC of the creative art space. All you have to do is just improve on your performance because they will be winners, they will be losers, but at the end of it all, the performances are of very high quality. Your Excellency, what the young people have exhibited here today pricks the conscience of the nation. Our young people are able to talk to us in a very strong manner. And I reflect back, there was a debate in the 80s about creative arts. There was a school of thought by Professor Chris Wenjala arguing that work of art is content. And another school of art, another school of thought by Professor Henry Dangasi arguing that work of art is form. The argument was, according to those who agreed, that the work of art is content is that it is a story. Work of art is a story. The other group was arguing, is really not a story, is how you tell the story. So as I sat here today, that debate is still there. Is it the story or how you tell the story? Which is which? Is it the story or how you tell the story? I, am, I belong to that school of thought. That is how you tell the story. The story is good and is always there, but how do you tell it? When 10 week boarding presented a core of us here in Kipsigi's language that I don't understand, but from the, from the body language, from the visual expression, I could see the anger and the indignation those girls had about the danger of illicit Bruce in our country. But that story is always there. But they told it in a different manner. When I looked at St. Clair Maragori about road safety, challenging passengers not to board an overloaded vehicle, that story is always told by the police. But the girls have told it differently. So let us invest in how we tell the story. Your Excellency, when you saw in your cabinet, you did admit that our administration has a challenge, has had a challenge in how you communicate our achievements. We've done a lot. We've got good stories. Sometimes we don't tell the story. And when we tell those stories, we don't tell them well. Let us invest on how to tell the story. The university financing model is a masterpiece. It's such an intervention in our education system on how we finance it. But that story has not been told. And where it has been told, it has not been told well. Let us tell that story appropriately so that the beneficiaries can know that we have got a good financing model. So, Your Excellency, 
I want to say I'm very happy. Last year, we were with you in Akuru. When I went home, after seeing the performances, I was very calm and slept very well. And my wife asked what had happened that I slept so well. I told her I was in a beautiful state concert. And she said, next year, I want to come with you so that I can also sleep well. So I asked her to come along today. <laughs> and of course, I was very happy to see Kenyaga boys where I was for six years. And I was in the creative space learning how to tell a story and tell it well. So I want to say congratulations to the performers. Continue telling the story. Continue impacting on society through the creative space. And I want to thank Kipchumba Mukomen, the way you have explained. Let us invest more in our young people so that they can help us instill values in our society. They can help us communicate difficult messages in a light manner, in a manner that is not only educative, but also entertaining. With those very many remarks, I want to request all of you to stand up and help me by clapping and ululating and kushangilia to invite, to welcome the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Ruto, to come and tell his story and tell it well. Mr. President.